In this video, we will show you how to install a smoke generator into the Merklin 37018 steam locomotive. It's the type S2 slash 6. The installation is easy and straightforward, but the problem are all the fine details on the locomotive. You really have to be very careful in opening this locomotive so that you do not break off any of these fine detail pieces. Other than that, it's easy. Of course, you always have to refer to an instruction manual and the first step that it will tell you to do is to unclip these tiny steps on the front of the locomotive. You can actually remove them completely after you unclip them from this bottom bracket, as you can see. Next, we turn over the locomotive and look at the front truck. You'll see that it is pulled in by a spring and on the top of your screen you see a flathead screw circled here and that's the one that you need to undo to remove the truck. If you are lucky enough to keep that little spring connected to the truck uh, you're in luck because it's a lot of uh, hassle to try to reconnect that. More about that later. See the little copper push plate? Note how it is laying in here and here's that little spring that I talked about. It's just hooked onto the truck, so most likely it'll come right loose when you handle the locomotive. Removing this truck gives you access to a tiny little Phillips screw that is hidden down there in the center of your picture into the boiler. This is the second screw that you have to undo. Once that screw is out, You'll move to the rear trucks and there are two Phillips screws hidden right underneath the front wheels of the rear truck. You need to undo those two screws and after that you should be able to lift the body of the locomotive. Inside it's a little different than your older Merklin locomotives. You see a centrally mounted motor with flywheel and then off to the right there is actually a bracket for your smoke generator. If you turn the shell upside down you see this little rubber shrink tubing where the smoke generator will go and you'll have to remove that. It's just a tiny little piece of shrink tubing. Next you place the smoke generator in its holder. And it's barely visible here in the video or in this picture, but you got to make sure that that tiny little pin on the bottom sticks out a little bit so that it will make good contact with the bottom. Then you push the smoke generator down and that's all there is to it. Put the body back together, put in the rear screws, and then you are looking at this little spring and you'll have to reattach it to the front truck. This may take magnifying glasses and a lot of patience and some tweezers, but uh, it can be done. And then you can reassemble it. Once that's done, it's time to put in some smoke and let her go. 